Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. We're glad you're here. Let's go ahead and pray together and ask God's blessing on our time today. Father in heaven, we love you and we thank you for the word of God. And Lord, as we uh, give just a few moments here uh, in the, at this noon hour uh, to its study, we pray that you'd speak to our hearts, Father, that you would help us to see things as we ought to see them. Uh, Lord, but more importantly, we pray that we'd see you as we ought to see you and place our confidence and trust in thee. But Father, we pray for your blessing upon this day. The Lord, work in our hearts and lives, we ask, and we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions again. We're glad you're here. Let's go ahead and take our Bibles and open together uh, to Deuteronomy chapter number 33 and 34. Uh, we're, Lord willing, we'll conclude our study here of this particular book uh, today. And these final two chapters are rather interesting. In chapter 33, we find uh, Moses blessing the nation of Israel tribe by tribe. Whereas in, in chapter 34, we find Moses uh, dying. And uh, he dies there in, in the land of Moab. And God uh, buries him in a valley uh, in, uh, um, in Moab. And no one knows where his body is, even to this day, because God hid him. Uh, but in chapter 33, I'd like to draw your attention here in just uh, just a few verses. And as as God concludes, or I'm sorry, as Moses concludes uh, his blessing of each of the 12 tribes of Israel, um, he makes a statement here the fi- in the final verses. <clears throat> and I'd like to draw your attention to what the Bible says in verse number 26. You see, all the blessings of God revolve not around us, but around him. Um, the only reason I'm blessed today is because of God. The only reason um, I know any of God's blessings in my life is because he's gracious and that he's allowed it. Um, all, the, all of the blessings, all the great things in my life come from my relationship with him. And what we must learn today is, uh, is our need again of, of, a, of a real relationship with God. And the Bible says in verse number 26, he says, There is none like unto the God of Jeshurun. Now, the, the, the name Jeshurun there is, is just another name for Israel. He says, Who rideth upon the heaven in thy help, and in his excellency on the sky. So there's none like to the Lord. He's, he's high above all creation. Uh, he's robed in majesty. He's robed in strength. And the Bible says this in verse number 27, the eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. Um, and he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall say, destroy them. So we look here, and I want you to note the statement, just very simply today, that the eternal God is thy refuge. The eternal God is thy refuge. It's, it's the God who, uh, who rides upon the heavens uh, in our help. Uh, who, uh, and in his excellency on the sky. Underneath our God are the everlasting arms, okay? He's, he's never short of help. He's always there. He's always ready to, uh, to, to come and be our strength and our, and our guide and our keeper. But notice, the eternal God is thy refuge. Now, what is a refuge? Well, a refuge is a place of safety, when, when hardship comes, we flee to our refuge. Uh, when difficulties arise, we, we head to the one who can be of help to us. And God is our refuge. Christians, God is the refuge today. And God does not only want to be your refuge during times of hardship and difficulty. This is a day, God wants you to dwell in the refuge God does not want you to vacate the refuge. God wants you to be right there with him. God wants you to, to know him. God wants you to spend time with him. Uh, God is a jealous God. And uh, as we spend time with the Lord, the Bible says, Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. Note the word dwell. You, this is not A dwelling is a, is a place where we continually reside it's not. Uh, it's not like a vacationing place, right? Uh, it's not. It's like, like like a resort that we go to temporarily for help and then we leave. No, this is something. This is a. This is our dwelling place. 
And the Bible says, The fountain of Jacob shall be upon the land of corn and wine, and um, also his heaven shall drop down dew. It says, Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people, saved by the Lord. We're saved by the Lord. The shield of thy help, and who is the sword of his excellency? And thine enemy shall be found liars unto thee, and notice, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. God, in this, in this refuge, we find victory. In this refuge, we find strength, we find provision, we find all that we need. Christian, everything you need, everything we need comes from the hand of Almighty God. And he is our refuge. And Christians today, as, as Moses blesses the people, as this book of Deuteronomy comes to a close, God's reminding us, saying, don't leave me. Don't abandon me. Do you realize that, that you don't have to worry about God abandoning you? He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. God, will never, God never abandons his people. However, we abandon our God. And, and in, these final, in this final breath, he says, don't abandon God. Dwell in safety. Flee to the refuge. The eternal God is our refuge. Let us trust in him today. Father, we thank you for the word of God. And Lord, our prayer is that you would help us not abandon you. Lord, that we would dwell uh, in the refuge, that we would spend time with thee, that we would know you. Lord, that uh, we, would, we would trust in you and, and know your blessings firsthand. And so, God, help us not just resort to you in times of hardship, but, Father, may we resort to you in, in all hours and in all ways that we find our strength. But, Lord, we love you and we pray for your blessing upon this day. Lord, revive our hearts, we ask, and it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Well, friends, thank you for joining us today. As always, it's an honor to have you. We're praying for you, and we hope to see you right back here tomorrow at noon. God bless you. Bye-bye.